Right, I am live. Oh, when I go close, the light is so bright. I've got the window there, and the sunlight on my forehead is a bit extreme. Anyway, welcome. I thought I'd just go live this afternoon, try something a bit different. Hey, Shazad, how are you doing? Um, it was going to be a listing stream, but I've got to do. I've got to ship out my orders. So for the first while, it's just going to be me labeling up orders. Um, but if anybody, if any of the YouTubers are in uh, and you want to come and hang out with me, list, pack, whatever you're doing, um, let me know and I'll send you a link. I think Darren's going to hop on. Hi, Hurricane, Nadine, Adam, Murray Deathly Deals. Good day to you. Richard, Laura, Lillenelf, Stephen, Peter Ray. Uh, Pete can't join as he's live at four himself. Oh, sorry if I overrun that. I'll send people over to you. Uh, Richard, welcome. Owen, Joel, Gwen, Bronwyn from Australia. It's 2 a.m. Wow. Are you listening? <laughs> I sometimes list late into the night. I work better. Phoebe's in. Hi. Listing like a ninja. Fantastic. uh did the lights come with the tripods no the lights came without tripods but i had these two mini tripods from before i bought a set of two large umbrellas which are these ones and two little mini ones um so i use those but if you do go for these lights which i i do recommend they're bloody amazing um you can get these little mini tripods on ebay super cheap anyway just as a little light stand so yeah they're not expensive Hi, Steve. Hi, Chris. Hi, Dragon Tech. Says, hi, I'm new, so welcome. Kelly, hello. If you want to come and say hello, Kelly, I'll send you the link. You can pop in. I was saying before, I'm just going to be doing my shipping and then hopefully, if I've got time, do some orders. I've been working on the pub game again. This is one of the ink stamps. They're not going to be this big. This will be reduced right down. That's for the Cooper's Arms that I spoke to the other day. Been working on this goat design. <laughs> Still not sure about my goat. But there we go. We'll see. Anyway, um, let me see if Darren's seen the link that I sent him. Oh, he's seen it. So Darren might be hopping on. Anyway, I'm going to get a load of labels done. Hopefully, I'll have, hopefully I'll have somebody pop in to chat with me. And then once I've done my shipping, I'm going to do some listing. Richard, I could do with some of those lights. Um, I'll drop you a link in the chat, actually, so you can go and have a look. They're not cheap, but I did buy a set of cheap ones, um, and they were bad, so I sent them back. Uh, let me see if I can find a link. I'll drop it in the side chat. Um, hmm, where do I find that? Bear with. There. The, I don't know if it's in a video that's been released yet, but I've, I've talked about them in a recent video. The main thing for me with these, as well as them being bright, is the fact that they don't take up any real space. Uh, right, here they are. I'll drop a link in the side chat. You can go and have a look. There's loads of different ones available on eBay. These were recommended by George and other people. Um, Callum was talking about them. He picked some up. Right, shut up, Nick. Just get this link, this link, and drop it in. I can't talk and do. This is the trouble. And now things aren't working. All right, here we go. Right. That link. Yeah, I did show them Sunday, Richard, and I think I've talked about them in the vlog that we're making this week. I think that's what it is, because I was setting up the new layout up there. Hello, Daryl from Tor Point Cornwall. Daryl and Carol, DNC sales, like it. Hi, BC. Hurricane likes the new branding and logo. Yeah. 
it was Andrea's idea to, to go for the orange highlights, which you'll probably see in all of our thumbnails up for the past sort of month. And we're going to try and brand our, our blog page and other stuff with the same sort of font and uh, colour. Carol says, do you think you'll ever get another Monty? The girls would have another dog already. I'm still... I'm still not over it, really. I know people say that the best thing to do is, is just get another dog straight away, but I'm not ready for it. So maybe one day. Right. So I don't know. I'm going to send a few links to people who might be about. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Kelly, Kelly, did you want to hop in? <laughs> um, right, let me send out some links and then I will start generating some labels for shipping. I'm sure this makes great viewing. All right, let's see if Tom's around. Carla's about. Oh, Tom says he's outside taking photos, but he'll see. So maybe, maybe we'll get Tom in for a bit. Okay, right. So let's open my click and drop account and we'll start. I'd say I was, this was going to be a listing stream and I'll talk about some of the cool stuff I was going to list today. But I've got to get orders out anyway by five o'clock or six o'clock at the latest. There's two pickups at my local post office. Um, so I've got to do, I can't really show you, there's a heap of orders down here. I've got to uh, weigh and add to my click and drop account. Um, hmm. Hi, Andrew. That's money mental. I can send you a link if you want to hop on. You don't have to be listing or packing, and you can just pop in and say hello. On his porch. He might be stuck in the porch. You never know. Yeah, hi, Andrew. Let me know if you want to uh, want me to drop you a link. So, orders. I think I've had a couple more in. Oh, I've had an Amazon order I've got to pack as well. Oh, hang on. I've had another order. Ah, it's a CD. Go with. Uh, annoyingly, I've run out of envelopes. You know, DVD size envelopes, um, which I use for CDs and DVDs. I've ordered a load and haven't turned up yet. So I'll use half of a big one. I listed a bunch of media yesterday. I sold four lots of it today. Um, media tends to be not great money obviously there's exceptions um like atari carts that sell for five grand um but if we're talking cds and dvds most of the time they're not good money but they're easy to do and can be really quick like i sold a bunch so that cd um two wii games this was a Norton antivirus thing. You know, there's only, what, 20 quid there? If that, no, 20, yeah, about 20 quid. But it's so quick and easy to do. So I still dabble in media. Um, oh, Andrew says go on then. 
Oh, and Kelly says you can send the link if you like. Right, bear with. I will. I will send links. I've got to see if I can find people. Right. So, mm -hmm. oh, there's Kelly. She's just messaged me. All right, there you go. I'll find Andrew. There you are. Yeah, Darren was going to hop on. Darren, are you watching? Are you hopping in? Oh, Wayne. Yes, Mario coasters. Ready to go. Uh, they will be shipped out today. Yes, thanks for that. <laughs> Hi, Kaylee and Michael Burnshausen. Say so, hi, Nick and Andrew. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Not been too busy today. Um, a bunch of stuff going out. Oh, Darren is will be on shortly. Okay, cool. Right. So I've also got an Amazon order to ship. Most of my Amazon stuff I send into the warehouse, as you probably know if you follow the channel. I still do some stuff merchant fulfilled when it makes sense. Um, and I've had a merchant fulfilled order. So let's find that and print that out. Do, 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 do. do, do, do. Filled order. Oh, I, can hear, I can hear the stream playing in the background. That might be me. Hi, Nick. How are you doing? Hey, Kelly. Hiya. How are you doing? Hi, Andrew. I'm all right, thanks. Hiya, Kelly. Uh, yeah, I can hear the stream playing in the background. I can still hear myself. You'll have to mute oh, that hey. video or, Hi, or close that video. Hey, Kelly. Hiya. How you doing? Hi, Andrew. I'm all right, thanks. Hiya, Kelly. Uh, Who's still the playing the audio? I can still hear myself. You'll have to mute that. Not me. Oh, there you go. It stopped. So it was me. Sorry, I had it on there. Uh, both. That's better. I thought I'd pop on because it's quite. This is quite an apt subject for me because I've only just started printing my postage. I used to have right until Sunday. You used to have what? I used to handwrite all my labels until Sunday. <laughs> oh yeah, you said you got a printer. <clears throat> I've just brought one. Yeah, one of them um, Dymo XL things, four XLs. Jesus, they're expensive. How much did you get it for? Uh, Barry managed to find me one for one hundred and thirty-five. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd have gone for the zebra. I think they're just amazing. Oh, don't you get say them that used to that. <laughs> huh? I've, uh, I'm going for the 4XL as well, Kelly, so you're not alone. Yeah, it's the one I see most people talking about. I was going to ask you, Nick, but I didn't want to badger you because I've been badgering everyone about postage the last couple of days. You Ooh, can geez. always badger me. I don't mind being badgered. I've done it now anyway. Good. How are you getting on with it? Is it uh, working? Nightmare, nightmare today. I had 10 parcels going out and my internet kept going off. You know what my internet's like? And I pay, paid for them all and then I couldn't print them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, panicking. Oh, I've man managed to do it. Oh, Hi, Tom. Tom. Hey, Tom. Oh. Can you guys hey, hear me Tom. all right? Congratulations. Hey, Kelly. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, your news is out there now. Yeah. Little, little Jimmy James. Yeah. You might hear him screaming away in the background, but so apologies. Can, can you hear me all right and see me all right? It's a different setup than I'm used to. Yeah, perfect. Sweet. Hi, Tom. Oh, hey. Gosh, you said... Yeah, I don't know if you guys have met uh, no, Andrew so. before or met him online. I've seen him, seen him on the Facebook posts and uh, was extremely jealous of some of the things he's picked up of late. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Oh my God, yes, we, we must talk about that. How the hell did you find those games? How much did you pay as well? Uh, one pound each for uh, a Castlevania oh. special edition, limited edition thing. That's, uh, I just knew to look out for Castlevania, to be honest. And uh, yeah, that... and then Dragoons was a pound, so I thought I'd take a punt on that as well. I've That's been to that car booth. I'm fine. That is. What do they go for? Have you looked into it yet? Uh, at least probably about seventy to eighty for Dragoon, and at least two hundred for the Castlevania. Two hundred. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Love it. So I picked those up and thought, "That's it. I'm going home. I'm not going to see anything else." <laughs> was that chick? It was. Yeah. Uh, was it on the main field on the hill? No, it's on the top field. They had to turn people around uh, away because. Um, He'd uh, he'd lowered his pitch fees to a fiver, and I don't think he was expecting that many people to turn up. Mm, I've been to that a few times and uh, had some great deals. I think I, I think it was Craig who's there as well. I bumped into and uh, yeah, got some absolutely amazing gaming finds. But don't, no one go there because it's rubbish. But <laughs> yeah, terrible. Don't go there ever. Everyone's going there now. We've heard what you can pick up there. <laughs> Congratulations on the uh, baby as well, Tom. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks very much. So we've got in the chat. I've oh, got a few people in. Cool. So what's everyone listening today then? Uh, I've got to get my packing done first, but then I was the first thing I was going to do was a really nice vintage typewriter. So hopefully I'll get onto that and show you it in a bit. I'm listening to Warhammer, which is not very interesting at all. I should be taking photographs. <laughs> Have I led you astray? You've led me astray. <laughs> I've got. I quite, I quite like the look of your lights, Nick, but I don't know how suitable they would be for, for um, clothing. Mm. What do you reckon? Hang on, sorry, my printer's being noisy. I can hear you. Bear with it; will stop in a sec. Are they the LED light? ones? Yeah, I said I quite like the look of your lights, Nick, mm. but do you think they'd be suitable for clothing? Well, they kick out as much light as these things, if not more. Yeah. Um, and if you had large tripods, then you could suspend them sort of, you know, high enough for clothing. I mean, I got them from Amazon, so I, I was going to try them. And if not, you know what Amazon's like, just send them back for a full refund. They don't care. Right. You know what I mean? Try them out, and if they if just say they're not suitable, and send them back. Because the size of them compared to the other ones is amazing, isn't that? I've yeah, that's... tripping over the other ones. Yeah. Well, this space you've probably seen in the past. It had yeah. those great big things, and I couldn't move in there. I couldn't get bulky stuff in there, <laughs> and they're so portable. So you can actually get batteries for them, and then make them completely portable, so you don't have to plug them in as well. I bought some without the batteries, like rechargeables. So yeah. But they're like, what were they? Sixty pounds each, so they're not cheap. <laughs> That's a dog toy, isn't it? Yeah, you might hear a bit of. Uh, he's he's found this ball. I have no idea what that, that freaked me out. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's, uh, he doesn't. He doesn't like. Give me that. Give me that now. Come on, you've had that for enough time now. <coughs> I've got um, about nearly 50 relists to do. I'm actually looking forward to um, Good Soul Cancel coming along so I don't have to do him again. Yeah, same here. I always forget and I've, uh, the amount of listings that sort of dropped off because I'd forgotten to relist them. Uh. I heard a rumour today. I don't know how true it is. Do you know Good Soul Cancelled? Are they only relisted three times and then, they'll, then they disappear? Or is that just a rumor no that's mm. they certainly didn't say that when we chatted with uh with the guys at ebay yeah so I, I, think that, it, well, I, I didn't think it did but i think that's the rumor mill going mad yeah probably yeah i've got stuff on um, good to cancel kelly it's been there for about four or five months i mean there are listings that keep to topping up with stock but they haven't dropped off or anything yeah, I've got I've got certainly one listing that I've had on for about five years that I keep replenishing. Yeah, I, more, I think it's more for the single items because oh, I've right. lost 
I've lost uh, list, stuff that I thought was listed. It's just disappeared. That's strange. I have had listings that just vanished uh, for you know for whatever reason. And, um, <laughs> also had some that the photos just randomly vanished. Uh, it showed like a, a photo icon, like um, like a Polaroid picture type thing on an angle, but there was no. It was like the image was corrupted, which was weird. So, and that was on some older listings, but weird. Looks like Steve's joined us in the chat. Hi, Steve. Uh, how's the bras going, Steve? <laughs> Can yeah, I just say as well, sorry, Hash, hashtag Team Carla. Ooh, hashtag Team Steve here all the way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm sitting on the fence on that one. <laughs> There's been more hype about this fight than like a Tyson fight or something. <laughs> I was expecting it to be on Radio 1 today, Steve. <laughs> I think Sky are coming down to broadcast it live, aren't they? <laughs> right, I need to get sorting out with my labels. I've seen Lonnie do this, where he, he kind of has a little listing live stream, and they're all so productive. <laughs> I struggle to do more than one thing at once. Can't pat your head and rub your stomach, Nick. Oh, no. Okay, All right. Yeah, I heard Karen told stay off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for his shameless plug. Dropping in on everyone's live chats for about five minutes before the end just to plug himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he says that. I'm not allowed to mention it anymore. I get told off. Steve, you're welcome to drop in here. You can mention it all you like in here. <laughs> oh, he's off. Look, he's off. <laughs> How's everyone's sales been? Crap. Um, average, really. I'm getting about five or six a day at the minute that's pretty good so i'm uh yeah it's, it's all right i mean i'm not i haven't listed anything new for ages really it's mostly just relists so i'm just clearing out the uh dead stock yeah I did, I did a bit of that yesterday i had a, I had a mm. decent day yesterday today i haven't sold anything it's just how it goes sometimes isn't it exactly We've kind of gone back to normal now. We're ticking along nicely, but we had that crazy patch. Oh, yeah, yours is like, mental. We're doing like two, two and a half grand a week for a couple of weeks, and it was like Christmas again. <laughs> but I think it was a combination of certain products we had on and the, the fact that I listed all week and put loads of expensive gear on. You reap what you sow, I think, in this game. Yeah, I agree. Well, yeah, um, about 50, 50 video games the other week, and I had 25 sales the next day. It was mad. I'm yeah, not the same. yeah, media is great like that, isn't it? If you if you price it keenly and you've got good stuff, it will sell. I listed a bunch of media, nothing great. It was just jumble sale pickups, you know, really cheap stuff. But I sold three instantly. I mean, it's within hours, and it's just so quick and easy. Pop it in a jiffy bag and it's off. Evening, DBG. Oh, I'll talk to you about your uh, chat, lad, Steve. I know he was off on Monday as well, wasn't he? So is it still the same thing? Does anyone else have a look at other people's listings, you know, when you're looking for similar salts, and look at the description and think, have they actually said anything in the description? It's all a long list of terms and conditions like I don't post via Hermes and all this and that, like massive rant sometimes. Oh, hey, Darren. Hey, Tom. Hey, Darren. Good to Hi, see Darren. you. Hi, Darren. Hi. Yeah. Hello. 
Yeah, those long lists of terms and conditions and, and stuff just puts me off buying from people. I don't have any of that in yeah. mind. I saw one the other day, and literally every single line was a different colored font and different colored text, and it was all different fonts. Uh, and it was like, really? And they didn't actually say anything about the item itself, it was just a list of terms and conditions. Crazy, man. I see loads like that, and I just think, how have you sold this? But then people don't read the descriptions, do they? True. Very true. Wayne, are you still in the chat? I'm just um, generating your order. Have you got a house number? Or is, is your house name enough? Because on the Royal Mail website, it's not coming up with your house name. Oh, no, it does. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Found it. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> yeah, it'll go exactly as you sent them at the uh, address. That's fine. Was the idea, Nick, that it was all supposed to be working as well? You can do what you like. You can dance around your living room if you like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just uh, hoping I'd have some company. I'm um, setting up some um, scheduled auctions for Sunday. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got out of the habit of scheduling. Do you do that as a matter of course with, with everything that you list? Or? Um, I, I, I do because um, the way I look at it is, it, it hopefully, I don't know if it's true or not, but I think it will show us activity on my account. So if I'm away with work on a Tuesday, say, I'll schedule a load of listings to go live on a Tuesday so that I still show as active and hopefully trigger some sales. Are these auctions or buy it now? Oh, both. I do it with auctions and buy it now. Yeah. I know Karen does that, doesn't she? She she um, is 10 a day and schedules them as well as the realists just to keep the, keep the activity up. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I should imagine it does. Yeah, I mean, I seem to get sales through, so I'm hoping it's um, because of that. Richard saying in the chat, talking about those reams of terms and conditions on listings, he says uh, they're a waste of time. eBay will auto accept the return regardless of what they put. Yeah, yeah I know what you're saying. I think we know that, but unfortunately, some people who don't know eBay very well might have a look at the list, and if something's wrong, think, well, can't send it back. They might not be sure that they, they, they are entitled to send it back. So it's a, yeah. bit, it's a bit out of order, really. And individual sellers think they can just state their own terms and conditions and do their own thing anyway. Well, I, I've seen business sellers who say, oh, I'm not taking no returns in, yeah. in the description. When we exactly. all know that they, they, they should, regardless. I, th I think sellers like that are stuck back when you could leave um, buyers negative feedback. Yeah. I wish you still could. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. you've had some lately, haven't you, Darren? Blame it out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So exciting news about the house, Darren. Or is that not public knowledge? Sorry. It is now. <laughs> yeah. um, As I was saying that, I thought, oh, that might not be. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. no, great news. Uh, yeah, we just can't wait now. Just can't wait to get in there, to be honest. So have, you've offered on it and it's been accepted then, or what? Did they accept the offer then? It's all happening i think he's uh, gone has he gone we lost him oh i yeah. can't actually see the screen at the moment. i can just see his face face frozen i can see him yeah he's not moving unless he's doing a really good mime impression <laughs> maybe he's just in a state of shock after next announcement <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, I'm good at uh, releasing private news, aren't I, Tom? Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all right. We all know you're a Muppet, so it's fine. Just call me Nick No Filter Hills. That's yeah. Fine. That's fine. You're consistent, you're consistent in that. I'll give you that. 
Yeah, if you've got a secret, don't tell me, whatever you do. I, I'll tell you what, on another note, your technique of eBay is working a treat for me at the moment because I always used to list on the phone. And since they completely mucked up the app with this stupid, easy, what's it called? Easy list, no, what's it called? Easy pricing. Yeah. Um, now listing on the desktop and then taking photos on, on the app is so much easier. Yeah, I love that system. That's exactly how I do it. Yeah, me. Yeah, it just makes sense, doesn't it? It's just so easy. I just can't, I can't do it just exclusively on the on the app anymore, which is a shame, but there you go. Just what it is. I can't write on my phone anyway, so I have to use a keyboard. You know what I'm like with, like... Fat fingers. You know, fat fingers, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so out of the loop with listing on eBay. It's uh, it's been a bit of a learning curve getting back into it. Recycling the packaging already for my lights. It's a board game going out in that box. Did you go oh, for the um, same lights that um, George Ross recommended? Yeah, I was actually chatting with um, Callum. I don't know if you know Callum from yeah, Callum, Callum, who do know a lot. And he he bought some. I chat to Callum a lot, and he was raving about them to me on Messenger. So he he sent me a link, and it turned out they're the same ones that George got. I think Callum saw them on George's video. So yeah, I was saying before that I I did buy some cheaper versions of these. They're cheap for a reason. If you go and have a look, and there's some cheap ones, don't bother because the 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 light output is just pathetic. Um, it it pays to get a decent brand. They do look good. I'd love to get some, but I just haven't got the room for them. That's the only thing. I did buy on recommendation of uh, Ryan um, a portable photo studio thing, which has got lights inbuilt, which is supposed to be good, but I've not taken it out of the box yet. I've had it a week. <laughs> what, one of those little tent things? Yeah, but it's not one of the – it was like 130 quid. It's got LED lights all built in and stuff. It's like a big oh, box. Oh, nice. Oh, you'll yeah. have to get that set up and do a little video. I'd love to see what that's like. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do a video about it, definitely. And it's got, like, little sort of peepholes in the sides and stuff. Peepholes. Brilliant. Yeah. I'll do a live unboxing for the box. Yeah. Oh, did I see Carla pop up? Oh, almost. I think Carla's attempting. There she is. Here we go. Hi, Carla. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. How are we all? We're good. Um, not sure about now, but... What are you like, Tom? Steve's not in, so I've got to get his corner a little bit. No, you've missed hashtag Team Steve. <laughs> hashtag Team Me all the way. I'm desperately trying to open the chat in a separate window and failing miserably. How's the, how's the hoarding going, Carla? Very well, thank you. I, I think I'm almost um, I'm almost a quarter of the way to you. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, I'm wondering what this uh, strange rabble of people are doing. <laughs> we're supposed to be working and we're kind of half working or well, some of us are working and and some aren't it, the idea was it's a listing stream i want to kind of do these um uh, now and again to encourage me to stay here and list depending on how distracted i get i'm actually shipping at the minute i, I wouldn't be able to do a live and list at the same time i can barely watch a video and list at the same time <laughs> yeah it's not easy why why is steve saying tell her tom tell her what exactly i don't know <laughs> it says oh here she is the cheat tell her tom uh, tom have you been have you been trash uh, talking behind my back no oh, you should, you should, not anymore than normal tom said before you got on carla he's team steve all the way is he he's that quiet 
blasphemy. I'm, I'm team on the fence. In fairness, everybody can be team C if they want. I don't need any supporters. I'm going to win regardless. Yeah, I saw mm. round one and two. <laughs> mm. you, you have the, the, the tactics that work. I've, I've noticed, Carly, you've got your gallery up in the background. Yes, I don't know. Can you see this? There's yours at the top there, Kelly. <laughs> and then um, Catherine's and Lil Nelson. I've got some poems that have got to go up as well. Kelly, why can I only see just about your fringe and the top of your nose? Where's the rest of you? I've got a massive chin. <laughs> <laughs> What are you messing <laughs> <laughs> you're that way up and not mm. that way up, Kelly. All right, okay. See if that yeah, helps. Yeah. That better. Um, no, totally black. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Oh. That looks like Darren's alive again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I have very freaky internet, unfortunately. <laughs> I thought it was something I'd said. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Dropping those bombshells. Just listing uh, and some Amstrad games at the moment as well. And I've been looking at comps, and there's this one person whose whose title is Vintage Amstrad Game, Amstrad Games, Amstrad Games, Games, Amstrad <laughs> Tapes. And the title of the game isn't even in the, the, the title. Oh, wow. Wait, wait to use keywords. Maybe he's got Tourette's or something. <laughs> so no, that, would, that would be much better with Tourette's. That's it's like... trigger words, Amstrad. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Some so he's obviously got... just not sure that he's actually got a game or not, so he's just going for that positive reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> so has anybody done any actual work during this stream? I've listed yeah. four items. Because I was yeah. packing orders, but packing orders is not a quiet thing, is it? I'm I'm shipping. I'm on number seven. Oh, well, if you're making noise doing your shipping, then I'll make noise doing mine. Yeah. You crack, you crack on. That's fine. It's going to turn into some horrible ASMR kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, with the tape and. How are you coping, Tom, with um with the new um, baby and the tape gun? Because I know you were talking about getting a silent tape gun. Yeah, I think I need to. Um, I thought that was some soundproofing for my office. I'm not too sure. Um, it's a difficult one. The tape gun, it's like you open it slightly and then it's, and then it's, ah, it's like, oh. <laughs> so I'll just try and do the taping when he's awake. Can you get him some tiny little ear defenders? <laughs> I bet he can. Yeah. But you know the sound of that tape gun, it. It, it it travels through everything. It's so talking about so ear defenders. When, whenever I go to gigs these days, you see kids there with ear defenders on. I'm thinking, why have they paid for you to be here only to block out the gig? It just seems bizarre to me. You know what it is? It's yeah. they're, they're there with their parents, and their parents just couldn't find a babysitter. Yeah, <laughs> that, that would make sense. I've worn earplugs before, like, um, but they're not earplugs. They're like you can hear the sound, but they take out the dangerous levels of sound. I've worn them before, but you look like a bit of a a um, an idiot wearing them. So, how are sales? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're back to normal from our crazy period. Have you have you managed to break your drought yet, Carla? Not really. In my case, it's more what our sales rather than how our sales. <laughs> <laughs> Did make me laugh that poor Adrian said in the tax chat that he was going through a dry patch, and then in his apology speech, he said that um, that I was one of the people he looks up to, and I thought I think we found the reason for your dry patch. If you're modelling your business on mine. I think we found the problem. <laughs> Quite possibly. I've got a few going out, but nothing um nothing that made me <laughs> that little shiver, you know, that kind of like, ooh, ooh. None of that. None of that going on. 
I had a I had a bit of interest in uh, you know I shared that accordion, a big red accordion thing I've got. Um I listed it and I, I went, you know, go big or go home kind of thing. I listed it at 450 <laughs> and uh, straight away got a fair bit of interest, got somebody asking for more photographs, which I did earlier. So, yeah, I mean, that would be epic if that went. OK, you know, the people who ask you for photographs of your big red organ aren't necessarily going to buy, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to find a big organ. Yeah, you'd have to find a big organ first, Carl. Yeah, you'd have to oh, send me some yeah. pictures, wouldn't you, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to send you that picture of that pike like I did last night? <laughs> yeah, you and your big fish pictures. What's that all about? Yeah. I worry about you, Tom. Makes a change from him rubbing his wood. Yeah, true. Whereas it's being Q laminate. Well, we I'm sure, do you know what? I'm sure, sure there would be people who will watch that with this whole ASMR business. Yeah. Sort of sit in there rubbing the noise. People wood. get off on the noise for some reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put some stuff. videos of you rubbing wood out on your channel and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a whole series. Right. Yeah. And you could do like this week. I'll mostly be rubbing maple. <laughs> but do it for like two hours or something. Just literally a live stream for like two hours of rubbing. A Actually, it might get sore hands. Might get blind as well. You could have a whole channel and call it Tom Whittle's Wood. Yeah. If you put latex gloves on, you possibly, possibly capture two separate audiences. Oh, I've got night trial. Uh, or is this that not acceptable? I, I, it's not my fetish, mate. I don't know all the rules. That's oh, Lex. Sorry, no, that's Lex, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Lex will know. Yeah. <laughs> Just had first sale of the day. Ooh, hey. Hey. There you go. Nice. What have you sold? A uh, necklace. <laughs> necklace? Yeah, just a necklace. Only a tenner, but it's a sale, isn't it? I can barely hear you now, Kelly, for some reason. Necklace. Necklace. Oh, necklace. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought you said. You've gone all quiet on me. I'm going to get going anyway, now you've got some more uh, people in. No worries. And try and get some work done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. All good right, luck, go. See, See you later. later. Bye. See you later. Sold a little Arthur Wood ceramic pot. I'm sending it out in, uh, in a hobnobs box. Nice. As you do. As you do, yeah. I've sold three mugs. I hate packing mugs. Yeah, they're a bit of a pain, aren't they? Mm. I don't know why I keep buying the dumb things. What's your technique? Just uh, bubble wrap them to hell and put them in a big box or what? It will start off that big and by the time it leaves, it will be sort of like that. Yeah. Probably eight, eight by eight minimum by the time it leaves here, yeah. Yeah. It's like this has got a little ceramic pot in it. Yeah. <laughs> Bended in the middle of this. Yeah, I've given up on shipping ceramics. No matter how much bubble wrap I use, my Hermes still managed to chuck it down a twenty foot drop. <laughs> so Natalie shared one of those um, one of those little memes on Facebook earlier on, and it said something on the lines of Hermes have successfully managed to throw your parcel in the vague direction of your street. Thank you for using our service. <laughs> Did you guys see the clip of a Hermes driver? Standing on top of his van, launching packages into a balcony. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Picking like four goals as well. That's the thing. Yeah. Not that it would have been work there, right there. Goal, but still. <laughs> oh, that's epic. It was, it was... Know Harley wants to know what hobnobs are. Are you, yeah. are you, are you, are you not from the UK, Claudia Harlow? Because if so, you're missing out on a brilliant biscuit. Hobnob. It's a medical condition, isn't it? Made by McVitie's, they're a crunchy biscuit that are great for dipping in tea. They are like bulletproof, aren't they, when you dip them in tea? Chocolate yeah. ones are better. Yeah, they do them with chocolate on one side. Yeah, milk chocolate hobnobs are the bomb. And trust me, I know about biscuits. It's, it's like one of my specialist subjects. Steve's got a question for you, Carla. He says, do you have a picture with Team Carla on your wall? I do. It was drawn by um, Lil Alf. <laughs> It, it appeared in, in last Sunday's live stream. If anybody's, um, anybody's wondering what the hell I'm on about, I have a little section now in my Sunday morning live streams 
which is um, in the broom covered with colour and you can send in your pictures of you um, in any aspect of your reselling life or poems or anything like that as long as it's um, watershed approved and it will be Maybe. featured in my little segment and it will go up on my gallery wall and and there is the equivalent of a blue peter badge which i personally think is the most exciting thing ever there we go ah, are these these badges that keep getting shared shared on instagram <laughs> yeah it says on there i've been in the broom covered with carla I, I I had no idea what it was, and I dreaded to ask. <laughs> so, Maybe I've been in the room covered with me. This is also possible. So you effectively the new Andy Peters then? That's it. Um, or is it? It was Scoof, wasn't it? Scoof before we went. To oh, Scoofield as well. But and, I think Andy, Andy Peters as well. I can't I yeah. remember. <laughs> Philip Schofield. Andy Crane. Yeah. With, with um, Flat Eric or Gordon the Gopher. Gordon yeah. The Gopher, yeah. You ask. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a massive Shrek, Shrek definitely an ogre. Shrek's a troll. This is a well-known fact. He's an ogre. It says it in the film. He but says himself that he's an ogre. He's species confused. <laughs> Not species confused. Does he identify as a troll? Yeah. How dare you assume his species? <laughs> oh, oh. Phoenix, oh. Sorry. I'm oh. just sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm only going to be able to stay on for five minutes more because my car's done its MOT, so I've got to go and pick it up. But I'll be back on later if you're still on. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to dash to the post office at some point unless I go for the later pickup. This is certainly more late. distracting than it is um, keeping me working because normally I'd have done all of this by now. <laughs> I'm only weighing parcels and putting in weights. What time's the latest pick up, Nick? Eight. No banking. Oh, that's decent. I normally aim for the five, um, but they do have a late pick up at six, which is quite handy. That is good. Hello. Oh, oh who's out of sale? No, just just a watch reminder. <laughs> so. He wants to know if he sends you a sixteen by twenty picture of Team Steve, will you put that on your wall? And does he get a badge? Yes, I will. Really, <laughs> yes, he does. I'm still here. I'm just looking for an appropriate lump of cardboard. There you go, Steve. You can see it on the wall before it gets set fire to. <laughs> <laughs> so I will treat him with absolute fairness and dignity until the actual day of the scrap. And that, and that, on that day, he's dead. That's probably the first time in his life anyone has treated him with fairness and dignity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've sold some table mats. Nice. This is, uh, should, we, should we say what we're shipping out? Um, I've just done, um, what was that? This is one of those um, standby plug things. So you, you have a remote control and you can turn all your devices off if they sit there on standby. I got 20 quid for that. It's crazy. Nice. And this is nice. a little base of a blender that I got 12 quid for or 11. I can't remember. Nick, do you want my? Um, do you want to buy my thingy off me? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Deal done. <laughs> Hang on two seconds. Yes. Who said mum? Oh, okay, not you. I'm talking to people on live stream. Um, my thingy is a thingy. <laughs> It'll come back to me in a minute. Talk amongst yourselves while I plug my brain in. I am so intrigued about your thingy. Everyone wants to see your thingy now, Carla. Go on, get your thingy out. Food processor. With many, many spare bits. Can't think of the brand. Well-known brand of food processor. Kenwood. 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 Kenwood thingy food processor with hundreds of spare bits, and I just can't be arsed. Yeah, how much you want? I paid a fiver. I'll take the fiver quite happily and, and just see the back of it. Done. Lovely. I'll bring it to the meetup. I'll see you at the meetup. <laughs> Anyone else want to do a deal with me who's going to the meetup? <laughs> I'll come home with it. I'll have to take the big car at this rate. It's only a food processor. <laughs> no, I know. But if we start, you know, people start bringing stuff to the meetup and selling it to me. Yeah. Shame I'm not coming because I've got <laughs> loads of board games. We'd love a crowd beef in the Brew Fair car park. Somebody else suggested that, that we should have a little car boot sale in the in the car park of the pub. Yeah, I think I don't think we'd get away with it. Little swap meet. 
I have got plans for entertainment, though. Ooh. I thought I would do... Strippergram. <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd do that, and it's you, Tom, so I hope you're not busy that day. <laughs> do you want me to bring the Teletubby outfit again? Yeah, not Poe this time, though. They're, oh. They've seen Poe. I've about seen your Tinky Winky. winky. <laughs> <laughs> mm, too funny. Yeah, I thought we would do the reseller Kachinkians, Kachinkianships, which is easier to write than it is to say. Wow. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to say that after one pint, let alone two or three. <laughs> so, reseller Kachinkianship. <laughs> you need to rename that. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? It's too late. It's printed on the trophies now. Oh, yeah, so, trophies. Yeah, so there's going to be... There's. Am I shouting, by the way? No, it's fine. If I'm bellowing, let me know. Um, there's going to be uh, like a, a three-hour time period, I'm thinking, possibly between maybe like 4 and 7 p.m. And during that time period, anyone who gets a kaching can come and register it. They can come and register their sale on the leaderboard. And at the end of the time period, there will be a prize giving. So I've got highest single sale. And these are these are hashtag qual merch trophies, mind. They are only the best plastic. <laughs> <laughs> highest total sales. Um, this one is most sales, so the, the most number of kachings in the time. And then this one, which has nothing on it yet. But I have a plan for this one. So just thought it might be a bit of fun. I'm going to put 50 items to end an auction at five o'clock. You can do that if you want, but they'll go for 99p. You won't win the biggest trophy, will you? I might actually do buy it now as only so that people can't cheat. Oh, <laughs> you have away my strategy. oh, no, Andrew, you shouldn't have mentioned that then, should oh, you? Shot myself in the foot already. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I like it when people help me to, uh, to hone the rules a bit, yeah. I'm going to have to go, everyone. But uh, if you're still on later, Nick, give me a shout. I've got to go and get my car. Yeah. See you, Tom. See you soon, Tom. Still later. Good speech, you Bye. Speaking of mugs, this is a mug. It's a Hard Rock Cafe Honolulu one. I don't know if you remember seeing that in a hall. I did the old send uh, offer to watch her on it. I was asking 20, which seemed a bit stretching it anyway. So I offered the sent an offer at seventeen plus shipping, so twenty quid all in, and that's gone. I still have not got the button. Mm. People are talking about the they, they've got the button now. I still have not got the button. No button here. No, same here. I haven't got it either. Can you not get to it through that little workaround that we share? Yeah, yeah, I can get to it through the workaround. I just I just watch another people's button appear and I wonder when lines coming. Yeah, I'm still using the long winded way of getting to it. I've got the button. But it's buggy. So when I click send offer to watch it, quite often it brings up a different item. Oh, really? So I've once or twice I've sent through the um, a low ball offer on the wrong item to the wrong buyer. Oh, no. So, uh, yeah, that was. And have they accepted it? Have you ended up losing out or have you got away with it? No, the, 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 there is an option to cancel it, but you have to go into the um, item. You have to go in. If, I don't know how you do it if you haven't got the button, but if you've got the button, you can go and review. There's an option to review your sent offer. Right. So you can click on there, click on the name, and then you can cancel the sent offer, and it gives you a list of reasons, and you just click on sent wrong amount. I wonder if it's one of those that you start getting a ding if you did it too often, though, if it's, uh, you know, complaining that you're messing about, because they're so funny about this stuff, aren't they? Oh, it's, it's just one long stress after another, isn't it, all this... I'm just going to go and run away and live on a desert island somewhere, I think. Sounds fun. Just move to Barry Island. I believe there are people there, and I believe that, um, yeah, I believe some of them are Welsh, although I'm sure that's a lovely thing to be. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> stop digging. <laughs> Stu says, if anyone wants me to buy their items on Saturday so that they'll win a cup, I'm open to large bribes. <laughs> I, should, uh, I should say, at the Wolverhampton meet that I'm arranging on the 11th of May, there are no prizes. But I've heard... Top quality plastic numbers like I produced. Yeah, no, no qual merch, but I have heard Steve Green's offered to buy a round in for everyone. No, he hasn't. Nice try. When's this at the meet, huh? 
At least try and make it believable, Andrew. Is this Bristol? Or oh, another, one? another one. Uh, Wolverhampton. Andrew, Andrew's doing a Wolverhampton meet. Ah, okay. I don't know if he's still, are you still coming to Bristol, Andrew, as well? Yeah, I am, yeah. I've got my hotel booked, paid for. Are you at the Premier Inn? No, I'm oh. down the road at the uh, Village Inn. That's brand new. I mean, you ought to get a decent bed, if nothing else. Yeah, it's been was... open a matter of weeks. That was the thinking that it was 10 quid cheaper. Not one of those gyms on the second floor where everything's by the window so people can see you sweating. Awesome. I won't Sorry. be in that at all. <laughs> yeah, it's only been open like six to eight weeks, maybe. As long as I can find it after 10 pounds, I'm happy. Walk out the Brewers Fair and walk pretty much in a straight line north and you'll get to it. Excellent. And Darren's not coming, is he? Because he's a lightweight and can't hack it. I may just not be local at that point, that's all. Well, lots of people who aren't local are coming. In fact, Car is talking I'm about be, it. I might be like two and a half hours further away than I am now. So. Karin's coming from Newcastle, Darren. There's an airport yeah. at Bristol. <laughs> and Kath Palmer's coming from Scotland. I've got a four-hour journey to get there. Four and a half hours, I think, I see. I, th I think Rod's thinking about coming from Australia. <laughs> it's amazing how far people have travelled to meet Mrs M. It really is. <laughs> is Mrs M the main attraction? <laughs> I think she must be, yeah. I think that must be it. <laughs> Looks like George has joined us. Hey, George. Hey, George. We're just, it's a loosely kind of working hangout, this one. I've packed everything within reach. Natalie, did you bring my other bag up? Well, I've managed to add all of my orders to the click and drop account. If I move all this junk out of the way, I can actually print labels. I cannot keep my office tidy for more than 10 minutes at a time. No, same here. I had a boss that used to say a tidy office is a sign that nobody's doing any work. <laughs> That's not always true here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do a lot of nothing in a very messy office. <laughs> Natalie's brought the rest of my sales upstairs for me. So, some pink shoes. And a Lion King comforter. Nice. And a Womble with a super fluffy face. If you get the defluff right. And well, the rest of it's clothes, I think. You've had a few sales there then, that's, you know. Yeah, they're, 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 yesterday wasn't bad number wise, as in number of sales, but then nothing very high value is going. Yeah. It's all, you know, quite low, quite low ball stuff. It's, be it's better than a kick in the head with a sharp stick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. At least I've got some sales coming in. It just, you know, you just get to the point where you think I'm packing a hundred parcels and I've made about seven p at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Vish has asked you a question, Nick. Any news on the pub board game you're making? Um, it's not a board game. The pub game is a real world game, like a treasure hunt thing. The board game and the pub game are two completely separate things. Uh, pub game is going well. I was working on some more of the ink stamps these i was saying before this will be shrunk down this isn't a massive ink stamp that you're going to find <laughs> that'll be reduced down to like imagine the size of the board yeah how big is that postcard mix <laughs> yeah yeah this will not fit on the postcards i'm getting printed but, but yeah i do them this big and then shrink them down and then they'll be they'll be made it is happening i've got a bunch more pubs involved um it's just dealing with all the people and making another thing happen is kind of a headache when you're doing it in your spare time of which i don't have a lot so but yeah it's happening got the printers all set up and they they've given me a quote that's affordable to do all the cards so it's all good have you considered doing like mel does she splits her week down into this day i work on this business and this day i work on this business she's got several different kind of strings to her bow yeah. Some days she does eBay and some days she does other stuff. Um, you do you think? 
in a way that's kind of what i'm ending up doing but this isn't a business and it's unlikely to ever be one it's more a passion project really something that i just want to exist if i can get it going and a lot of people involved it could become a revenue stream so when i'm working on that i'm feeling guilty you know what i mean half the time because i'm not actually yeah. doing what i feel i should be doing it's a tricky one but i'm pleased i've got it to the point it's at now and give us a few weeks and it should be uh we should have real real cards out there and real stamps in real pubs oh that's a nice buy karen sorry i'm reading the chat karen's had a lovely bargain 10 spinner roll books for a pound each i'd have been all over that labels are coming Is yours still printing a spare page in between them all like it used to? Yeah, I can turn that off. Um, it's an option within click and drop. But if I'm doing a load as a batch like this, it makes sense because it tells me, the label before tells me what the parcel is. What's in the parcel, if you see what I mean. Yeah. If I do them one by one, then I don't need the second label. But it is wasteful this way, I know. Hey, we're done. Steve says he sent me a message on Facebook. I'm warning you now, Steve, if I open it and it's nudes, I'm going to show everyone. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Oh, he's asking for my address. I think he's coming around. <laughs> can I have your address so I can get a badge? I want a proper picture, mind. If you literally, even if you if you write the words Team Steel on a piece of paper, Steel, then I want it properly coloured in and pretty. You will not get a badge just for scrawling Team Steel in Sharpie on a bit of A4, just so you know. It's okay, Carl. He's got his dedicated workforce at home. The kids will do and it. The kids there are drawing as we speak, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of doing a poem. Oh, I'd love to get on your wall, Carla. I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but yeah, anything, anything to do with reselling or, or YouTube or whatever is it can all be featured. It's just a bit of fun. I think it's a great idea. Although ever since I started doing it, I've got more dislikes on my videos than ever before. So somebody doesn't like it. It's probably Tony Hart's family. <laughs> Thinking I'm just smirching his memory. Oh, I love that word, besmirch. Besmirch. I think I like the in the evening. How there isn't like a T-shirt or a merch company out there called Besmirch is beyond oh, me. I mean, what a genius name that is. <laughs> Hashtag call Besmirch. Does anybody else to sell a tape dispenser just not work? Is it just me? Oh, mine goes blunt. Or what has gone blunt. So I try and pull it off. And I'm there with one hand, feeling like the world's biggest wimp because I cannot. With a massive it. string of sellotape. <laughs> talking tape dispensers. I just joined when Nick said he's going to pull it off. <laughs> yeah, tape dispensers. Yeah, this, this, these ones. I need a new one of these because this is blunt as I don't know what. And I, I'm there with like parcel in one hand and this. Oh, it worked. No. <laughs> <laughs> I started getting them from Home Bargain because they're only a pound. They're not any better than any others, but they don't, I don't care yeah. if, I've if I've only paid a pound. Gosh. I find that the eBay tape jams up mine. Any other tape's fine, but that eBay stuff just ruins it. Oh, do you get the tape that says eBay all over it? Yeah. I, that's that's the one, yeah, Carla. Yeah, I picked up about 12 of them because I'd had more than enough boxes. And uh, yeah, never again. <laughs> oh, gonna have a bit of a bubble wrap shortage. I think this is all I've got left. It's rubbish quality. This as well. I don't know where it came from, but I don't want it again. Looks like a globe packaging masterpiece. It's absolutely crap bubble wrap. Tom always swears by the tear off bubble wrap, doesn't he? Yeah, he he's very evangelical Oscar. about tear off bubble wrap. Yeah, but I don't know where he gets it from. Oh, oh Karen's in. I'm really, really tight. 
I can send you a link, Karen, if you want to pop on and say hello. If you're wondering what this is, by the way, I know people are joining in as we go. It's just a kind of hanging out, doing what resellers do, kind of live stream. I thought I'd try it. Thought it'd be a way to keep me in front of the computer working rather than going off watching daytime TV or something useless. Karen says, is she the only one who does all the posts in the morning? She likes to get it done. Um, I used to, Karen, when all the stuff was at home. But now all the stock is in the storage space. I go and fetch it during the day and then come home and do the parcels in the afternoon for the next day. Oh, Kirsten was in. Oh, and she's going. Sorry, Kirsten. I didn't realise you were in. Hi, how are you? Gone, gone now. She can't hear me. <laughs> I um, I do my packaging in the evening, but my post office is open until 10 o'clock at night. Oh, is it like one of those ones that's in a shop? It is, yeah. So... It just sort of works with me because I'm working sort of eight till four and then I'm packaging and eBay. And... Do you have a normal day job as well, Andrew? I do, yeah. The joy of um, being a uh, senior project manager for government. Is it all your fault? <laughs> do you know, I, I actually worked on Universal Credit as well and I left that just before that went all um, like the Titanic. Ooh, yeah, you don't want to be involved in that. Wow, so we can blame you for that debacle then? I, I, the bit I did worked perfectly when I left. <laughs> well, you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, my bit was fine. <laughs> oh, do you want to do a little plug for your um, monumental group, Andrew? Yeah, sure, yeah. Explain yeah. what that's about. Yeah, I've set up a, um, a support group on Facebook for people who, uh, resellers um, who have... Um, mental health issues because i know there's a lot of us myself included who um suffer things like anxiety depression etc it's just a safe space for us to get together talk share our experiences uh, it's called if you do a search on facebook for money mental support group it will come up and i've dropped the link in the chat chat as well you might um, put yeah. it handy you could drop it in the side chat now yeah you? just just having a look to see if i can work out how to do that um I'll just find it now. It's a powerful thing because, I mean, I've shared in the past, I, I I suffered horrifically with mental health issues throughout my teens and early 20s. Thankfully, I'm in a place now where it's in the past, although I don't think it ever leaves you. I suffered with uh, depression, had a mental breakdown. Um, and it's really powerful to have a place where you know people are accepting and uh, will just chat about it, you know what I mean? So I really appreciate you doing that. No problem. It's, um, yeah, it's... Um... It's a tough subject for people to to talk about, I think, and the more of us that do it and the more that we realise that there's other people going through similar experiences, the more it can help, to be honest. So, so yeah, thank you for mentioning that. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll um, drop a link now. Tell me if this link works, people, in the chat as well, because... Uh, Drop it in just now for you. Uh, Glenn's asking a question in there about getting a receipt for something I paid cash for. It's a it's a big question, really, and that's never really been satisfactorily answered to me by the HMRC. I've made a couple of videos about it on my channel. If you if you search Nick Hills HMRC on my on YouTube, you should be able to find the videos. I rang them up and asked them that very question, and then there was a follow up video to that of people who've had experiences with it about getting audited and what happens. So, yeah, there isn't a definitive answer, but there's, those videos uh, should be useful for you. Yeah, I use um, QuickBooks to do mine, and um, there's an option there to put cash in, so I just pop it in there, but... Um, I know it can be a, a, a touchy subject. Yeah, I mean, even in that situation, obviously it's recorded for tax purposes. But if they came and asked you to prove that, you wouldn't be able to. And in their minds, you don't, you can't then claim that. That was basically the very blunt answer I had. If you saw that video way yeah. back when, but um, yeah, we're going to start using QuickBooks. I think we're going to go with QuickBooks. There's several accounting apps available for self-employed people. How do you get on with the QuickBooks one? It's brilliant. 
it's made it so much easier for me um it tracks your mileage as well which is really good when you're going out sourcing or dropping stuff off um yeah. i've got it linked to me business account and my business paypal account it pulls through the transactions yeah you have to refresh it every day that's the only thing that annoys me to get the transactions to pull through but when they do you can just tag them to say what type of transaction they were and it just works it all out and fires it off fires it into a nice little report for you to share with our friends in the revenue at the oh, end of the year you, you track the income and the sales as well as the yeah. and expenses i do yeah everything that's coming in and going out um you can scan in your receipts as well so i i do that um you know which is useful if i'm in a charity shop and i pay cash for stuff then i i can literally scan the receipt as i'm walking out yeah i think i saw george using it when he was out in the field and he was adding purchases like cash purchases um, while he was out and about which was yeah i mean at the moment i have a great big ledger where i just track it all so i'll list what i pick up at a jumble sale the date yeah. list of the items and the total cash spend and that's what i've always done it, it is a lot quicker i i used to have an excel spreadsheet and i used to put stuff in there but i'd find that i'd forget stuff or I'd, I'd forget the price on things when I put it in, when I went to put it in. So it's it certainly improved my accuracy. Although, you know, whether that's that's now needing to be paying more or less tax, I don't know. And what's what's the monthly on that that you pay? Uh, it's I've got a special deal with them. It's about two or three pounds a month from paying at the minute. Um, but I think the uh, average price is about six pounds. Okay. So it's it's pretty inexpensive, really, for what it does. Yeah, I was going to maybe contact them and see if they wanted me to do a, an honest review on it and see if I could get a bit of a discount for a year or something. And they, um, yeah, they're open to people, um, especially through your adventures and reselling site. You put an affiliate link on there. Yeah, well, that's it. I need I need to find the time to give them a call and see if they want to work with us and and uh, we can promote it and probably get a, a cheap deal out of them. But the, the tracking the mileage is something that we really need to do. I'm so bad at doing all of that. Half the time, I don't bother. You know, what I, mean? I never pay for my mileage because I never remember. And also because there's kind of complicated rules about if you use that journey for domestic stuff as well as, and it doesn't count for things like that, isn't there? There is, yeah. I, um, I it, wouldn't bother. If it's, <laughs> yeah, I only claim it if it's business only. If it's if I've done personal stuff on it, I I don't bother putting it through, but. To be honest, because it does that tracking, the amount that it saved me more than covers the cost of the app. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we need to get that set up in time for the new tax year, which is coming around rapidly. I used to do a lot of, um, before I got into eBay, I used to do a lot of mystery shopping. Um, and I used to go all around um you go out down Birmingham and Liverpool and Manchester, and it was brilliant then because it would track every stock that I did. And um, yeah, it made it so much easier because you'd, you'd never get your mileage right otherwise. So it's not just uh, you're reselling anything you're doing that's um, taxable income, you can pop through there. Yeah. People are raving about QuickBooks. Richard Payne says QuickBooks makes keeping track of everything much easier. Paul and Lou uh, used it for a year and loving it. Yeah, George again echoing that he uses it and recommends it. I keep meaning to check it out. At the moment, I'm just doing the old basic, basic cash in, cash out accounting, and it's it's worked fine for me. But everybody keeps saying QuickBooks is wonderful, so. Well, this is the thing. It, it's not actually a lot of work, but the way I account for things, it's so slapdash. Things get get missed and, and receipts get lost and I'm not tracking the mileage efficiently and I'm not doing X, Y and Z. And like Andrew just said, the fact that you're actually actively doing it and it's kept, it pays for itself, you know, with what you can recoup. Yeah. In so it does make sense and i think i need to get with it and <laughs> get in the 21st century and actually do my accounts efficiently sorry about that it sounds like about five dogs i thought you only had two sorry what was that 
It sounds like a whole pack of dogs. There's only two there. It is like living with Mowgli's family, I swear. I started calling them the wolf pack. Oh, the wolf pack, that's a good name for a band. <laughs> Steve has sent his picture. Yes. Look forward to that forward one. To receiving that. I presumably sent it by post because he asked for my actual address. So. We say, can we not just um, send it to you on uh, Facebook and uh, you can use your, uh, let your printer to print it off? The reason I bought a label printer is because my actual printer printer is so bloody crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my own printer, no matter how often I clean the print head or change the ink, it just prints out with lines across the middle all the time, so. Is it an Epson printer, Carla? It is an Epson XP322, Darren, to be precise. Oh, yeah. They're kind of well known for those lines, unfortunately. Mine does the same thing. Yeah, like I said, no matter how many times I clean the print head, and I clean the print head so often that it was costing me a fortune in ink because obviously it swallows up a load of it and, and it won't accept compatibles. If you put compatibles in it, it knows and it goes, uh -uh, not playing. So, yeah, so not, it my... just got to the point where I worked out I was spending so much on ink that it was the buying a label printer was going to pay for itself in a year. So, yeah, I couldn't live without my label printer to be honest. <laughs> It's um, it's going to be one of my first um, investments in the new tax year. A label printer and a GoPro. Nice. Yeah, the label printer and just as much my laser printer were just money so well spent. Well, I'm now going to see if I can get one bag. Too, isn't it? Yes. And then you buy one toner every 52 years or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually got a laser printer in the house, but I've never hooked it up um, because I, I figured I'll, I'll hold on to it until I've run out of ink. Cause I bought a massive job lot of ink for my main printer. So until that's gone, I may as well um, keep using it. Yeah. This is all, it's all replacement ink. It wasn't, there was no resale value in it, so... Richard says there ideally we'll need something like QuickBooks when this HMRC making tax di tax digital comes in. Funny enough. Yeah, I don't know when that's happening. <coughs> it happened about three years ago. You think the government would be have enough to be thinking about, wouldn't you, let alone you know, mess about with other stuff? <coughs> Yeah, I've I've lost track of what's happening with Brexit now because I think everybody has. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got an extension, but as I understood it, we only would get an extension until June if Parliament voted in favour of the deal that they now can't vote in favour of because Theresa May is not putting it in front of them. So we've only got an extension until April. Is it until April twenty seventh? Is it until the? Or have I just got that confused with Bristol? I lost it completely. I, I I lost the plot at the point where the um the MPs who were so thoroughly against the whole idea said, "But we will vote in your favour if you agree to step down afterwards." So you're so thoroughly against this idea, but you'll still vote for it to suit your own agenda. Excellent, proper politicianing there. Yeah? See you later, Neville. It's three a.m. where you are, so yeah, you should be in bed, mate. Yeah, I've lost the will to live with the whole Brexit thing. I'm, I'm on it. I was really interested and intrigued by the whole thing. You know, wow, new political ground, isn't this exciting? And now they've been banging on about it. If I hear that word, it just makes me cringe now. <laughs> just get on with yeah, it, yeah, whatever happens. Yeah. This is my mug and there's still movement in the box, so we're not done yet. <laughs> pad until you can pad no more although a little bit of movement i think is good because it, it gives it that 
it allows it to move and not absorb the uh, impact. Shall I test your theory, Nick, and post it as it is? <laughs> well, how, how much is a little bit of movement? A little wiggle is fine. Um, Chuck it out the window like the Celtic traders did once. Can you hear it? It's not moving very much now. That's fine. I'm not That's throwing it out the window. I live inside me. By the time I get downstairs, it'd be gone. <laughs> I tried that test once, and believe me, it does not work. <laughs> Especially don't do it with something you've just sold. <laughs> Uh, right, what am I doing? I need to print off the manifest and then run these up the road. Oh, shall I, shall I leave you three live on my channel? Is that foolish? Oh. I'll give you five minutes to do what you want to my channel. That would be very, very brave. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? No, don't tell I me. You, I think you'll come back and find that you've got no subscribers left. <laughs> we'll get Tom back to rub his wood for you. Wait. I should demonetize the channel pretty quick. <laughs> How do you know he's not walking up in his wood now? That might be why he's shot off. I think so. <laughs> so the world world. There. Question there from Father Sunglasses. I don't know the answer to this. Can you claim mileage if it's your friends or family driving you around? As I don't drive, I have to get friends and family to drive me to food sales and charity shops and parcel shops. Presumably you could pay them petrol at 45 pence a mile. I was going to say, you could only do that if you are paying them for the service. If it's a free yeah. service, you can't claim the mileage. Oh, he's seen a squirrel. You'd, you'd have to get them to invoice you for the service, and then you could claim that back. Yeah. I would suggest. I don't know. Don't take advice from us, lot. Like. Yeah, they can't take advice from strangers on the internet. We don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. You can claim things like your bus travel, taxi fares, etc. But I've never tried to pay anyone else to transport me, other than a train company. Sorry, excuse the take gun. When you try to use tape gun quickly as well, it's like panic stations. <laughs> right, I'm just going to film me shipping this lot, and you lot will be in the vlog. I'm doing I'm doing a little vlog where we're uh, we're all working in quotes. I'm trying to look smart. Hang on. Despite the fact that we're actually on your channel now, anyway, but you know. Oh, my phone <laughs> died. Just just when you did oh. that, my phone died. <laughs> it, it couldn't handle it. Oh, well, that'll be a short clip then. It was the sight of that eBay tape just killed it. You said it ruins everything, didn't you? Yeah. I'm well, sure I had loads of battery when I started filming. This phone is rubbish. Is anybody else using decent scales, by the way? Like proper hefty postal scale, like, like a proper job? Or is everybody doing what I'm doing and balancing it all on a little pair of baking scales that they've had for 100 years? I've got a 40 kilo... Um, parcel scales that I got off Amazon because I, I used to get loads of Amazon vouchers. It cost about 40 quid. But they're not, they're like proper postal scales, but they're not the big ones that you can put 200 kilos on. That's what I really want. Good God, what, you, what on earth would you send that you would need a 200 kilo scale for? Absolutely nothing, but I just, think it'd be, I just think it'd make a great picture. Here, <laughs> here's my new scales heavyweight ones for fba stuff but then i've got a heston blumenthal thing here this, this thing yeah i say yes you with your heston blumenthal scale yeah from a boot sale for a quid or something like that <laughs> bargain well that yeah i ordered the scales off amazon and i saw the same pair at a boot sale for five quid the next week <laughs> it's always the way isn't it whenever you yeah. buy something new you see it in a charity shop or at the boot sale I right. try not to buy anything. I, I, I honestly believe that whatever you want, if you wait patiently, it will turn up at the boot sale before long. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You've got five minutes. Dun, da, da, the, um, da, 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 da. the great experience I'm having at the minute is my mum donated a load of, load of my stuff to charity um, a couple of months ago, and I'm now going back and rebuying it to resell. It's ridiculous. <laughs> she donated it against your will, I take it. Yeah, yeah, she just had a clear out, and um, I don't know whether she, she probably hadn't realised that it was my stuff, not stock, but my sort of personal stuff that had been in her house for years that she thought, oh, he doesn't want that anymore. But That's was, reminiscent of Lex. Did you see, did you see Lex's um, doll's house story? No, I haven't seen that yet. 
Uh, it was a while back now. Lex Oliver went into a charity shop in her local town and caught a glimpse of something that looked vaguely familiar under a shelf in the corner. And it was the doll's house that her grandfather had made for her as a child. Good Lord. Did she buy it uh, back? Her, yeah, her auntie was looking after it and had donated it to charity or passed it on to somebody else, whatever. And she, yeah, she bought it back. She was ecstatic. She made a video about it. She was ecstatic about it. Uh, I am never, ever trusting family again. That's all. That's all I've learned from it. My mum got rid of all my books. When I left home, I left some books behind because I wasn't ready to take them. And when I went back for them, she'd got rid of all of them. All my childhood books. And it's funny, isn't it? The um, yeah, I'm you know I'm forty five, and some of those books I've never found since, and I would love I would still yeah. love to reread them. So yeah. Okay. Funny Loads of stuff disappeared. Vintage Lego train sets, all sorts. And it's all stuff now that we were hundreds as well. So it's like, why? Mm. It's always yeah. the way, isn't it? It's always, it's never, it's never like the terrible stuff that people give away, is it? It's always the good stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Well, he's getting in a state because he wants to go for his walk. And when he gets into a state, he breaks wind. It smells in here now. It smells terrible. <laughs> what sort of dog do I have? This is a Jackapoo. Barty, come say hello to YouTube. He's half Jack Russell, half Poodle. He uh, looks very similar to Buddy, actually. Yeah. He's going to be one next month. And he's he's still he still mouths me. He hasn't learned not to do that yet. <laughs> he, he doesn't do it to anyone else, but he will to me. Because I'm special, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, he looks a lot like Buddy, only Buddy's a lot older. You gonna be a good boy now? Molly's just screamed her way downstairs, so I presume she went down on her face. She's not quite got the hang of the stairs. She's all right as long as she goes slowly. But she doesn't go slowly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are in trying to encourage people to subscribe to my channel because I've said if I get to 500 subs by Bristol, I'll renounce my beliefs in Shrek being a, a troll. And how many are you on? I think I'm safe. How many subs are you on? Uh, I haven't checked recently. 370 maybe? If I had 130 friends, I'd get them all to sub just to, just to prove a point. <laughs> but I don't have 130 friends. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> we, what, we know Shrek's a troll, don't we, Barty? You should watch the films. He says himself that he's an ogre. No, but this puppy. So, Darren, have you done any work today? I'm listing at the moment. Done about seven or eight listings. How many listings have you achieved here, so. this? Uh... I've done about seven or eight listings Sorry? since being on here. Oh, yeah. And how many would you have <laughs> achieved if you weren't? Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably a lot more. I wouldn't have done any. I was stuck watching um, um, the Flash, and then I saw Nick was live, and that was it. He sucked me in. Who was that? Sorry. No, you're breaking up, Andrew. I only got the odd word. <sighs> I was saying I was watching the um, the flash and then Nick messaged and I thought, okay, I'll go live then. I'll save um I'll, I'll start listing some stuff. So I've done ten listings thanks to Nick. You've done ten listings during this stream. I'm impressed. Oh the re-listings, I should say. I believe I don't know if got any description whatsoever. <laughs> go on, get off me. Get down. Go on. It's those listings that you see and it says red thing. <laughs> But that I did, I did used to, um, I never used to really do much in the way of descriptions, to be honest. Um, but um, since watching um, the uh, chat that, um, uh, is it Rebecca from eBay had with um, with Nick the other week, and she was talking about actually the more you put in the description, the better. I have started bulking them out a bit. Have you noticed it making any difference yet? Well, I think the difference I've noticed is that everyone else is sort of saying that they're having had really poor sales this month. For me, it might have been quite good. They've sort of actually increased. So so I guess it probably has, really. 
if I sort of compare to anyone else, but it's still, you know, I, I'm sort of just, I feel about one or two percent above what I was in February, so. See, I've heard a lot of people say that the description doesn't matter, but the specific, you know, filling out the item specifics is more important than the description. But I presume that would be more for clothes than for, I don't know what kind of stuff you sell, <laughs> but I think for clothing, the item specifics are important because that's what people narrow their search by, isn't it? What, you well, know, by the size and colour and all that. It's talking about um, Google being able to pick up on things and the more specifics, etc., you've got in there. The more it will come up on on Google as well. So I don't know. I say that I'm sure that is. There's no way to track really what people have gone to before coming to eBay and buying from me. So unless anyone can tell me different, no. I hate filling out the item specifics. It's I, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't, is it funny? There's little little bits about the job that you hate, and you can't really pinpoint why they annoy you so much. But it's, well, that's one of my bugbears. I I just hate yeah. the whole where it insists you put an EAN number in, so you put it in, and then it just does nothing. You still have to fill out everything anyway, and you're like, well, if it's in your product catalogue, which clearly is because you've got the EAN number there, why isn't it all pre-populated? Yeah, I never put an EAN. Yeah. I always put does not apply for everything. Yeah. Does not apply is my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that <laughs> most times, unless it's something new. If it's new, I'll put an EAN in because I know mm. that, um, that does help, apparently, with the ranking. Next back. I'm not wearing check ears now. I'm just catching up on the on the on the on the uh, chat. You were wearing check ears. I'm not wearing check ears. There's uh, there's no way I'm wearing. Oh, welcome back, Nick. Huh. I, th I thought you were meaning you had been wearing them while I was gone. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got, we all had our check ears on. <laughs> <laughs> we all been sitting here in various Disney fancy dresses and just got changed back out before you got back. Nice. I've I've got, also I'm not stalled paid. in my packaging process because the Parcel to Go website isn't playing. Right, I need to do a Hermes parcel now. A bunch of books. Yeah, I'm just catching up on the chat. No, I'm not going to paint my face green either. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. I'm finding the UPC EAN does populate information more than ever before. Yeah, I believe they are adding to their product catalog, but it's just um, it's annoying that they force you to, to fill it in when actually they haven't got any details in their product catalog because it's just a waste of time then. Just got a notification that you're live, Nick. <laughs> All right. We might get a bunch of people pop in now. <laughs> it doesn't tell me anymore how many people are watching. It used to be a little number down the corner of the live stream. I'd have to you get into the 113 video. watching you. No way. Have you people nothing better to do? <laughs> Clearly we haven't. 134 people, isn't it? Wow. George is asking what time does a quiz start? I think he's jealous because I got some tap points. We've had the Oasis question, George, I'm afraid. <laughs> I had to throw an Oasis one in. Just to stop you saying Oasis, and that didn't, it didn't work. You carried on anyway, I think. <laughs> it, it's, it's not me anymore. It's everyone else. <laughs> oh, what have you started? I joined in. Were you in Karin's chat? I managed to win Karin's quiz the other day. Oh, I missed that one. It came well, down I'm to the last question. Go. I got, Sorry. Uh, yeah, I got as far as go, um, I, I, so I left Karen. Oh, sorry. Karen. Hey, Karen. Karen. I called you Karen. Karen. Hey, Karen. <laughs> Bye. I left Karen's chat just as Steve arrived and got told off. Oh, yeah. Just before the quiz, then. Yeah. 3.4 kilos of books. 
67 kilos of Duplo to clean and sort, 35 Lego sets and two big... I I couldn't cope with that. I can't do Lego or Duplo or um, stuff like that. It just um, it just doesn't excite me enough. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. 67 kilos of Duplo. I'll be honest, I don't bother with cleaning it. If, it, if it's too mucky, I won't touch it. It's, I don't think it's worth my time to clean Duplo. I buy and sell a lot of it, but yeah. Andrew keeps taking mine away. Nick, have a word. Oh, tap points. I can't argue with the wife live live on air. Well, I could. Ratings might go up if we did that. George had his chance when uh, Andrew was away on Sunday. All you had to do was get Oasis in first, George. You'd have done it. <coughs> Bianca's asking me, what's it all about with the packages in a bag and yellow paper on top? Does the post office get the packages directly from your home? I don't have them picked up, although that is an option because the post office, well, you saw how long it took me to get there and back just down the road. Um, I use click and drop, so I have to manifest. I have to print off what's in the bag with a barcode and I attach that to the top so they can scan it and then that's everything booked in as far as I, I know. Um, but I drop it off in the bag, in a sealed bag. So that's what that was. Thomas has spent six days cleaning it. Good Lord, you have more patience than me. Wow. Put Lego or Duplo in a netted wash bag and put in the dishwasher or washing machine. I've heard that before. I think that's a good tip. Right, I need to get this Hermes label done. So what are you listing down today? Uh, a bit of everything. <laughs> really, a uh, whole bunch of board games. More vintage ones. But, um, original Scribble Scramble, which was pretty cool. Uh, paid 50p for that. Well, it, are, they cool now. are they still worth bothering with? Yeah, I mean, um, in, in really good condition, which lucky enough this one is about 20 quid still. Nice. Uh, from 50p. So. I've got one here, but one little bit doesn't seem to be working properly. It's, it's, it's minty fresh, but little bit at the back that spins the ball around and drops it off again just isn't working I, I actually had the same issue with mine um with the little mechanism the, the back part of the mechanism kind of drops over time and it gets caught if you get a screwdriver and just loosen the screw a bit that will free it up you reckon yeah all right i might take a look at that i was going to do it now I'm assuming it's the same issue that mine had because mine yeah, had might issue. be I can't remember exactly. It was definitely that bit that spins the ball round at the back. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. Can't remember what it wasn't doing. It wasn't depositing the ball at all, no matter how you did it or something. Or it was getting caught. Anyway. Yeah, because it has like a little lip that it gets caught on, um, yeah. and all, over time the screw just tightens and it puts it down too far down. So the one on the left hand side moves, but the one on the right doesn't. If that's happening on yours, then just loosen that screw a bit. And that will loosen it up for you. Yeah, I might have to have a look. I can see it. it's it's underneath about twenty board games over there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get this parcel done first, and I might dig it out. I actually sold the same board game twice today. Uh, <laughs> nice. It was um, a board game called Dixit. D i x i t. Um, paid fifty pence for it. Sold for twenty quid, and then the lady wanted to cancel. So then I relisted it and it sold instantly again. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I thought you meant you had two and you'd sold both on the no, same. No, I need the same one. But yeah, very strange. Nice. The question for you, Nick, here from Nadine. Do you have a link for the tripods you're using for your new lights? Um, I could find you a link, maybe. I didn't buy these. I had them already. Um, but I, I'll see if I can find a link for what they are. Hold on a sec. Um, bear with. 
And Graham says a loose screw has always been his problem. <laughs> yeah, I've always had a screw loose. I've never had a screw to, to be loose. Um, struggling to find these stands now. I can't remember if it was eBay or Amazon. I think there's some on eBay. Bear with. Do, do. There you go. This is live searching eBay on the internet now. Yeah, I'm not even screen sharing. You're just looking at my face, looking confused. <laughs> <laughs> We're really selling this reseller lifestyle, aren't we? It's, it's oh, bad. yeah. <laughs> Powerful stuff. Come work from home. Spend your day staring at a computer looking confused. That is my life. <laughs> that is my life. Okay, right. I'll drop a link in. Have a browse around there because you might be able to get it cheaper. You can get a pair here for 15. Um, is that going to work? Donk. Right, so what was I doing? Oh, yeah, trying to ship a package. <laughs> Donna has gone upstairs to tidy the bedroom. However, if you don't hear from me in the next 10 minutes, call for help. Yeah. Problem is, we don't know when she typed that. It could have been 10 minutes now. I know, she could be in trouble. She could be under a mountain of stuff. Why can I not find this order? I saw you posted about that, Graham. Um, Graham was just saying that um, promoted listings disappeared for a bit this morning. It was all okay on mine, though, so I don't know if it was just a, an individual glitch. No, I didn't notice that. Seemed okay here, too. That Donna's still alive. She made it out. Nice. <laughs> Stop barking. What's your dog called, Andrew? <laughs> Barty. Barty, as in Barty Crouch? As in uh, as in Bart Simpson. Bart oh, following right. him. I thought he's gone upstairs now. So which courier of, cho of choice do you guys use? Um, if it's up to two kilos, I'll just use Royal Mail. Yeah. Um, if it's two to five, I'll use Hermes Print and Post in store. Uh, if it's anything more than that, I'll use UPS. Yeah, UPS is good, actually. Or if it's a high-value item, I'll use UPS as well because I don't trust Hermes not to lose it. I've never had a, any damage or anything lost of UPS, to be fair. I've done a few hundred parcels with, you, with them and they've always been absolutely spot on. But they just... You know, you pay for what you get, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Have you had much trouble with Hermes? Oh, loads. Yeah. I, I, I have a standard email template set up now for the, to put complaints in with them about stuff they do. Wow. Um, I think I've yeah. done well. I've had one issue where they lost a parcel and I had to, you know, fight to get something back on it. That was years ago. So I think, touch wood, I, I do quite well out of them. They, they tend to deliver him and then... Um, they've chucked them over somebody's fence or whatever and um or they've left them in piles of snow that was a, that was a popular uh, trick of theirs um when we had some bad snow a while back so buyer come back and um find a destroyed parcel <coughs> yeah i've never really had any sort of major issues with hermes i think i've had like six go missing in the last <laughs> two thousand or so um, but it all depends on who your personal courier is, doesn't it? Really? Yeah. Um, Royal Mail have been all right. I think I've had two go missing with Royal Mail, but um, you know they put the claims in and they were fine. 
but um, yeah, my Hermes can be a bit awkward. Yeah, since they've added a lot more items to their excluded list, they can be a bit funny with stuff now, can't they? Yeah. Well, I was shipping um, food supplements and um, I had one of them go missing and then they said, oh, it's not covered because it's food. And I said, no, it's it's a supplement. It's not actually something you can eat as food. So I had this big, long debate for about a month and it was about 40 quid's worth of stuff, so I wasn't going to let it go. It took about a month for them to agree that it wasn't actually, um, didn't actually meet the definition of food. I heard somebody on Facebook somewhere moaning about their their list of things that isn't covered. They were saying, I'm struggling to find anything that is covered. I can confirm if they lose an action figure, they will cover it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're okay with with books, most toys, and then they, I'm not sure after that. They have an exemption in place, though, because um, they always say if it's the only cover if it's well packaged. So um, I had a book that got destroyed in the snow, and they were trying to claim that was the um, the packaging, but I'd wrap, wrapped it in a waterproof bag. Um, so I was like, well, it's been wrapped in a box and a waterproof bag. And it's got destroyed. That's not really um that's not really bad packaging to be fair. Yeah. Have you guys had issue with them complaining you didn't uh declare the weight correctly? Because I, I somehow again I've never had that and people get that all the time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, three three or four times, but I've had the photos of it on my scales. So I've sent the photos to say it was to show it was underweight, and I've said unless you've got you know evidence to the contrary, um, and they've they've just um, refund they've just uh, accepted me evidence them and oversize as well. I've had a couple of times. Yeah, I, I usually I basically say to Hermes, um, if you can provide evidence that it was overweight, then fair enough. But if not, go away, basically. <laughs> That tends to be what I say to them. And when they say, well, um, we don't have to provide evidence, I always say, I'm sorry, but I could not process your claim at this time. <laughs> well, they all tell me. <laughs> I actually had a guy once, well, I said, sorry, uh, unfortunately, your claim has been rejected. And they sent me an email saying, we're going to review our scale in case it's our problem, in case it's our fault. I thought, wow, that's, uh, <laughs> they've actually admitted it might be their fault, finally. But uh, I still get them. I, even when I know I weigh them perfectly, you still get them. Yeah. And I've, I, to be honest, I've had more problems with stuff being delivered than I've sent out. Um, so I think it does come down to how good your local courier is as well, because I've had, I'd say about half the stuff that's got sent to me um, or it's been sent via Hermes has, has ended up being smashed because it's been chucked over the uh, garden fence. Yeah, you don't want that when it's like something electrical or something, do you really? No. Well, I had a digital camera I'd bought to resell, managed to snipe it for a tenner. It's worth about 100 quid. And then uh, Hermes obviously um, chucked it over the fence, so it ended up in pieces. Oh, hi, Derek. Derek's in. Spoilers for tomorrow. Our uh, hangout tomorrow, we're going to be joined by Derek. You heard it here first. I just seen, uh, seen Derek's um, uh, return to YouTube. Watched, watched that earlier today. Who's you sorry? I saw Derek on a, uh, a video this morning on his oh, uh, latest auction hall. Oh, I haven't seen, I haven't caught that yet. Looks like he had some good pickups there. Right, well, I'm done with packaging. So considering I did put listing stream in the title, I'm going to list an item. I'm going to go and grab this cool uh, title item. Sit. This is a little beauty. Super compact thing. I'm not sure the age on it. It looks like it's probably 60s, maybe 50s. Judging from that, Empire Aristocrat. Aristocrat. 
but how cool is that little thing? That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's really cool, nice. That. Top end of these are going for about 40, 50. It's not in the best of condition. That's not too bad. It's got a lot of wear on the outer case, which I suppose is to be expected. It does have the manual. A lot of the ones online didn't have the manual. I think the most I saw one go for was 50. That was with the original cardboard box. What sure. are you hoping to list it for? I think I'm going to go 45 with offers and Answer. and then see what happens. If anyone offers 40, I'll take it. I'm not sure testing-wise quite <laughs> what I would need to do. It's got a ribbon in there. I could see if it actually... Uh, let's have a play. How much does it weigh? Because the last typewriter I picked up, honestly, I needed two of us to carry it. <laughs> yeah, this is a compact portable. <laughs> this, this was a compact uh, portable machine in the 50s or 60s. Working perfectly. There's hardly any ink on the ribbon. That's dried right out. But Anyone in the chat had any luck with these? I've so, I've done well um, over the past couple of years you selling um, electronic, like modern ones from the 90s, Olympus and Canon and that sort of stuff. I haven't sold many vintage ones like this. I can't see anything wrong with that. That's working like a dream. So I'm going to go in and find a similar item. And yeah, see if I remember the numbers correctly. I'm sure, I saw them going for around 40, 50 top end. So, M higher Aristocrat. Actually, I can share the screen, can't I? Bear with. Vicky says to check if the bell still works. Oh. When should it ding? When it gets to the far end, isn't it? To the left. Hang on, I've got it. That's it. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, the bell works. Oh, hang on. I've just jammed it all up. Damn it. <laughs> well, it did work. <laughs> Typewriter was working once. Right, so this is the search I've done. So I briefly looked at this the other day. So if we go into completed... Um, so 47 completed if we compare that with sold just to see how quickly they're selling 34 sold so yeah popular thing so on bids 21 see there's one at 40 let's have a look at that one um, similar condition really looking at the picture there in fact that's worse that's been well bashed up yeah, my actual inner unit is way better than that. Stop it. Stop what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> he likes to try and dig through the sofa occasionally. Oh, Monty did that. We've got a leather big sweet thing, and Monty used to scratch the hell out of it. Oh, that used to wind me up. So they got 40 free shipping on that. One on bids there at fourteen pounds, just criminally undersold. Oh, hello, fifty-eight. Oh, I did look at that one look because it's purple rather than blue. Ah, fifty-eight twenty-three. Oh, this is the one with the box. Okay. Yeah, look, so that's got original box, manuals and stuff. Looks like some of my packaging that. That's lovely, that one. 
See, that's more minty fresh than mine. So I reckon, what have we got? 30, 20 on bids, 15 on bids, ignore those. 25, no, I'm going 40. 45 with offers. 50 with offers. Okay. Go 50, go, go high or go home. <laughs> well, this is Hey? Why stop there? Just keep going. 70, <laughs> 70 going. with offers. <laughs> Should, uh, told, told to the man in the back for for 70 quid um the thing is though realistically you might as well start high put it up you know let it go for a few cycles and come down right we'll go 50 with offers right so it so now i'm going to pick one of these that i like the title of we'll go with that one and do sell similar from here i'm going to see if this bug is still happening um I listed that giant red nose for charity uh, a week or so back for Red Nose Day. And since then, whenever I list something, it automatically clicks the give proceeds to charity button. And if I don't notice and take it off, 100% of <laughs> the sale item goes to charity, which is fine when that's what I want to do. But And it just automatically ticks that box for me now. It's really annoying. Do you use the uh, business policies on eBay? Because I had something similar happen there, and I had to go in and delete the, um, the the business policy for it when I did something for charity. I'll have to look into that. See, look, make a donation. It's pre-ticked at 100%. So if I don't notice and untick that, you know, I'm, I'm giving away the proceeds, which, which again, is fine when that's what I want to do. And we do a fair bit of stuff for charity. But if I do it with all my items, we'll soon uh, yeah, lose our business. Right, so Vintage Empire, Aristocat, Portable Type, right, 1950s, stunning condition. Can I leave that in? No, I'm going to put excellent. Not sure I can describe this one as stunning. Um, I need an extra space. Um, condition. Um, working condition. Um, outer casing has general wear see pictures typewriter itself is in excellent condition oh what have we done there so i tend to uh, either take the photos in advance on my phone and then drop them in on the app but i'll i'll go and do them in a sec and add them straight from the uh, phone so we've got brand empire type aristocrat, aristocrat i can't say that word all i tend to do for the main body is copy my title and my condition <laughs> and that's it that's that's exactly why i do <laughs> <laughs> i think it depends on what i'm selling if it's something that's that i know about i'll put a bit more in if it's something i haven't really got a clue on i'll just leave it as um as the title and the uh, condition yeah you're right i mean it's like i listed that accordion yesterday and i tried to give as much detail as i could in that but there's not a great deal more i can say about this to be honest um so we're gonna shoot for the moon at 50 quid i'm gonna leave that on a 30 day i'll leave best offer on i've taken off the annoying charity thing that is permanently ticked now um i'm gonna go how heavy is it mind you at 50 quid actually i'll go 50 quid free shipping i think that's fair enough because hermes at that weight's only going to cost me about seven pound yeah it seems fair to me free local pickup is fine two working days i'll leave gsp on I'll give it a little bit of a promotional 
of about 1%. Save as draft. Right, let me come out of screen share. Carla says she's just sent you a message, Nick, as well. Carla? Yeah. She says, remove charity option, send listing live with no pictures. It will reject, and then next time we'll not have charity option. Sending new listing live changes memory saved. All right, I'll try that, and I'll try that in a bit. Um, right, I'm going to do some pictures for this, and then we will add them and make it live. Amuse yourselves. <laughs> How many listings you got to, Darren? Um, let me have a look. I lost count. I have. Oh, Hans is asking me how much did I get it for? It was part of that van load of stock, so it owes me three or four pounds, probably. I'm only on about 12 still. <laughs> I've managed to do 18, I'm happy. Well, I've just opened up the app. I've got Another 20 to go. I don't know if you saw, I, I picked up a, a stack of CD singles by the band Texas at the Jumble Sale. Um, I listed them for £40, again, chance in my arm. Just had an offer of 35 for a bunch of CD singles that I paid 10 pence each for. That, that's, that's going out at 35 I didn't know there were that many Texas fans left alive. Well, learn something new every day. <laughs> I'm happy with that. It's going to Devon. What was your question, Marcella? Sorry. <laughs> Love that sound. Oh, I've got a message about my golf clubs as well. Hi, what's your best price, please? I love that question. I hate it when you get messages like that. Let's just submit an offer. It's like, well, yeah, I think I've got offers on it. Shall I just reply and say, what's your best price? <laughs> <laughs> if you can play that game. Yeah, it's got best offer on it. I just ask him to make me an offer. I had somebody message me the other day um, talking about a, a figure I had listed saying, um, you know, you can get this for 4 99 in home bargains. I said, yeah, that's exactly where I got it from. <laughs> yeah, buy it. The, the first time we ever dabbled in uh, retail arbitrage, we were buying. Oh, hi, Andrea. Oh, quickly uh, say hello. Yeah, I'm just going out to Sainsbury's, but I need the car key. Oh. <laughs> Put your head in. Hello. Hi, Andrea. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, the first time we ever dabbled in, in retail arbitrage, we were buying um, Hogwarts castles. This was in 2001 uh, from from Tesco's for like 80 quid or something and then doubling our money on eBay. And we used to get endless questions saying, this is outrageous. You can buy this on the high street for 80 pounds or whatever. I said, if you can, tell me the shop and I'll go and buy them. <laughs> Or if you can, get there quick because they've sold out nationwide as well as I know. But yeah, people like to tell you, don't they? Right, let's send this bloke this message. The listing has best offer on. So please feel free to 
make me an offer. All the best. Nick. Pays to be polite. Oh. Apparently Texas are playing at Hyde Park this year. Well, they had a, a like another best of out, I think, fairly recently. 25 years of Texas. Was that recently? Maybe that wasn't recently. I think the last band I saw live was Shed 7. Oh, I love a bit of Shed 7. Great band. Yeah, they had a new album out like last year or whenever, wasn't it? And they were back yeah. on tour again. Yeah, it was last year when I saw them. They came to uh, the delights of Wrexham. Nice. They're not quite on the arena circuit anymore. <laughs> no. No, if they're, playing, if they're playing in Wrexham, that's pretty much a sign that your uh, career is over. Right now, I've got some battery in this. I'll try. I'll try filming again. Now Carla's not here to break my phone. <laughs> All right, we'll try that again. Carla, Carla's gone now. Still got Andrew and Darren with us. I've no idea how long I've been live streaming either. Someone in the chat, let me know how long this is live. Yes, Tom, we are still live. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be an hour and a half, two hours or so now. I'm guessing. I'm guessing Tom's car's passed this MOT as he's actually made it back. Yeah. What else is in the garage? Just about to take some pictures of this. Pipe lighter. Put new lights. All right. Let's get this done. <coughs> Oh, who wants to hear the breaking news on Brexit? Theresa May says she will resign if it means her Brexit deal passes. That's an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> I think that would make literally no difference whatsoever. Yeah. He's had a rough time though inheriting that mess from Cameron. Yeah, I wouldn't want it that job, not for anything. Yeah, he got out nice and early, didn't he? Yeah. Him and gorgeous George. Yeah, it shows she either believes in a deal, Carla, or she just doesn't want the job anymore. So, pictures done. Just uploading those from the phone. Just going to crop some of these. Well, if you're just joining us, we're just uh, hanging out, doing a a uh, working hangout. See, George is still with us. George has got a new nickname of the chameleon now after his video last night. I've not seen that one yet. His nickname is the comedian. Chameleon. He, he, he reckons he's a chameleon now. Oh, chameleon. Why? What's he done? He's um, been offering some advice in terms of um, sourcing 
and he says his, his tip is be a chameleon source different stuff at different times <laughs> is that what chameleons do <laughs> i'm not i'm not sure there are any reselling chameleons but what have you got there give that to me i think they're a rare breed there's one in essex <laughs> no okay so a bunch of pictures done so if i quickly screen share again we'll go and check the pictures have come through okay and we'll make that one live um, do -do 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 -do. Right, so click on complete draft. We should now have, here we go, pictures. So they look okay, hopefully. A bit like that. Post up. Yeah, your, your reputation's ruined forever now, George. There we go, happy with those. So what we'll do, we'll just check again. Item specifics are in. I'm just gonna make that bold, give it a little bit of color just for fun. Oh, not that color. There we go. And click the mobile friendly checker. Why eBay doesn't automatically do that for you is still beyond me. On 30 days, we're going kind of over the top really at 50 quid but we'll give it a go offers is on oh i have just forgotten to do mobile friendly checker on all of those listings oh. so i'm always doing mine, mine in bulk afterwards find it a lot easier how you, i don't know how do you do them in bulk um you just highlight the ones that you've done uh go into edit and you can go into the um XML panel and just paste the code that eBay gives you straight into all of them and then just click save. All right, I'll do I'll do that then. Yeah, it's a lot easier. I just had a really strange glitch with eBay. I've listed a Sky Electrics um, Captain America car and it says I can't promote it because it treats it like an actual automobile and you can't promote car listings, even though it's a Sky Electrics one. <laughs> Not even in the category, car categories. I was going to say, surely you haven't listed it in the car. No, it's, in, it's coming up as toys and games, scale electrics and slot car, cars, career ago. It has its own like category. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well. Speaking of which, I was going to list this next. Come on, I can get it out. Hang on. There's a load of Stella glasses on top of it. So the random things I end up with. Check this out, Darren. Oh, cool. Mini Mania. <laughs> yeah, but it's not as good as it looks because, no. unfortunately, although it has cars, Two of, I believe. There you go. They're absolutely knackered. The wheels have, have snapped off their mounts here. Yeah. This one is tireless. And yeah. But looking into it, this mini track is actually quite saleable. So I'm going to sell it as a as a track setup. Uh, it's got the power and all of that. Little starting strip. The works. So I think I'll do okay on it. Yeah, you should do okay. I, I often do that. I buy bundles of the stuff, and then if it's not complete or have some dodgy cards, I'll just pile it all out and sell their good cards separately. People tend to buy them quite nicely, actually. Yeah. I think these cards are fit for the bin. And then I'll just do it as a, as a lot of track. So that will probably get listed next. 
was going to have a look at that screwball, wasn't I? Yeah, I, I, Derek's just saying he always avoids scale electrics now at auctions as it's always got missing or dodgy cars or missing bits of track. I think I always find I just um, do well selling them as spares. Yeah. If it's really cheap, I'll, I'll always pick them up. I, mean, I, I tend to pay like two or three pounds for whole boxes and charity shops and stuff. Yeah. That's not too bad, but anything more can be one. Yeah, I think on a box of it, my limit's five pounds after that. I'm not interested. Yeah. Uh, Merrillness, um, yeah, you have to, uh, you can only do it on uh, business accounts, I'm afraid. If you've uh, got, you can only promote listings on business accounts, although I do believe they've now rolled it out to all business users who have got top rated seller above, whereas before it used to be only if you had a, a shop, I think. Right. Uh, I'd ask George about big bubble wrap, Thomas. He loves it. So, Darren, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Yeah. The issue is with this bit, it gets to like there. Because look. And then it just clicks. Okay, yeah. It, it still might actually be the other one holding it back. Um, How's the other one holding it back? Um, yeah, one second. Let me get, I'll grab. The one that I've got and see if it's the same. Oh. Okay. Well, I've just forced the other one back a bit. But now it's not near enough. Hmm. I think I've sorted it. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. This is what you're tuning in for, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, it goes all the way because I forced this one back a bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I think that's working now. I'll have to get the ball out. I mean, this is immaculate. It's got, it's got all the stuff in a bag with the instruction. And it's got, usually they're missing this, aren't they? The little hoop thing. Exactly. Yeah, I was amazed this one had the hoop and all the, It's got both original ball bearings as well, this one. No. Nice. <laughs> I think this is a fairly recent one. The box is immaculate. What is yeah, this box like? I saw a couple of the recent ones. This is one of the originals. But um, I'm aiming for about 20 quid on it. But yeah. quite a high end for it. But. Yeah, I've not been picking them up for a while. I used to do loads of them. I just kind of price went downhill for a while, but I think it's recovered now. Right, I'll have a play with that then at some point and see if that's working all right now. And I think I'm going to have to dash in a minute, go and get some tea. Yeah, same here. Yeah, same here. So. Um, oh, Karen's still in. eBay told me that private sellers can use promoted listings, but only at trending rates. Uh -huh. okay. Interesting. Uh, Will has got that same question that was asked earlier about how do you record purchases from boot fares for the tax man as you don't get a receipt? Uh, it's a good question. I'll, I'll say what I said earlier. I made a couple of videos, uh, one where I phoned up HMRC and asked them that exact question. Uh, so if you search Nick Hill's HMRC, you should find the video where I call the tax office and find out what they have to say. But make sure you watch the follow up video that should be linked from it, where I share some people's experiences of that exact issue when they were audited. So, yeah, have a look into that. So I guess we will wrap this up. I have no idea how long we've been on. I can't remember when we started. <laughs> um, so thanks to everyone that popped in. Thanks to Tom and Carla and Andrew, who's still with us. Nice to finally get to chat with you, Andrew. You too, man. You too. And Darren, cheers for joining me. Yeah, no worries. Actually got me doing some work, so that's cool. Yeah, it's all. <laughs>
Yeah, I think you've you might have achieved more than most during the stream. <laughs> All right, and if you joined us live, thanks for joining us. Um, if you enjoy this format, um, we'll we'll try and get it going again. Uh, it's just a way to keep me here, supposedly working, rather than doing other non-working related stuff. So, so, so thanks for joining us. Before, before we go, just to confirm, this listing stream. How many listings did you do, Nick? <laughs> I did. I did that one you just saw me list. Oh, okay, just the, the rest of the time I was. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was labelling orders. Yeah, I was working. He's he's been to the post office and back. To be fair to him, yeah, I, I <laughs> yeah, I did all my parcels, bagged it all up, went to the post office, did a Hermes parcel, labelled that. You see, been working hard. <laughs> it's it's hardly coal mining, is it? This. <laughs> Right, thanks everyone for joining us. Um, we'll see you all again. If you enjoyed it, let me know and, and we'll do it again sometime. Take care, guys. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. See ya.